Good morning, everybody. Okay, so I'm trying to play catch up a little bit here. Um, I've been sick for the past two weeks, and I'm trying to uh, catch up on some subjects that people have been asking me about. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be speaking about the Martha Moxley case once again. Um, this case, the Martha Moxley case, is a case that I have been interested in since I was about 15 years old. Um, and if you're not familiar with the case, it involves a young 15-year-old girl from, originally she was from California, but she had moved to Greenwich, Connecticut, and was uh, bludgeoned to death with a golf club. So I did get to watch the 48 Hours special, and I'm very glad that I did because I got to hear what uh, Mr. Richard Burns, I believe his name was, um, they interviewed Richard Burns and Tori Holland, I think is her last name, um, and they were able to give us, especially me, um, you know, a little bit of insight into uh, what happened, especially Mr. Burns. He was able to sort of uh, go back and tell us what happened at a dance. I believe it was the Sacred Heart Dance that he attended with Martha. He danced with Martha through the night, and he was able to sort of, in my own personal opinion, um, unravel some things for me that I always had questions on. Um, if you've kept up with the case, then you know that um, RFK Jr., uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has jumped on the bandwagon with Michael trying to defend him, um, even though they say that the Kennedys have nothing to do with this and their name has nothing to do with this. For some reason, they've decided to, uh, you know, circle the wagons as their known for doing, and he has always claimed uh, for the past several years now that Michael is innocent because uh, two other boys did it, that these two other boys come down from New York City to Greenwich uh, basically just to murder a girl caveman style, which I've always thought was such a low blow for him to do that and to come up with this story. I always felt like it was fabricated. And uh, according to Mr. Burns, um, some things that he claims, that RFK Jr. claims, happened, did not. So I was happy that I got to hear that. It kind of, uh, Mr. Burns um, saying what he said, his little testimony that he gave on there, that really helped clear up some things and some questions that I had in my mind. Um, and, you know, again, I have my own opinion who did it. It's a very popular opinion of who did it, but, you know, I have my own opinion. And uh, this case has always bothered me for years. You know, as a young woman of 15 years old, when I found out about this case, I had watched a movie about it. I think it was a Lifetime movie or something like that about uh, Martha. And it really, really just struck me as a young teenager. Um, it just blew me away um, at just how sinister and, I mean, it's just one of those cases. It just absolutely blows my mind um, at how it was handled how it is, has been continued to be handled. Um, and I very much agree with um, Tori and her, you know, she said, you know, you've lost, you've lost it all. You've lost your peace. You have no sense of peace. Um, and I'm sure that that's true. I didn't know Martha. This happened before I was even born. Um, but just because you don't know somebody doesn't mean you can't have empathy for them. And I definitely have uh, empathy for Martha and for the Moxley family. I feel just absolutely horrible for her family and for her mother and brother and all these years now that they've had to sit and listen to this case. I can't even imagine 
um, how much pain that has caused them. So, again, to answer your questions, yes, I did get to see the 48 Hours episode. I was happy to um, hear what Tori and uh, Richard said about Martha. I thought that it was really sweet that they kind of, you know, talked about her personality um, and, you know, basically letting everybody know just what a sweet and lovely person she was and just how horrific this crime was. Um, nobody wins in a case like this. Uh, you know, it's something that her family will have to live with all of their days. So, uh, it was just, it was something that was help that really helped clear up things in my mind and again, helped clear up some questions that I had, um, so I hope everybody's having a great day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.